So now, I just got back from work and decided uh, I would do some more uh, practice working with this 12 American wire uh, gate. So first off, when I bought this, somebody wrote that they don't uh, peel apart uh, very good and that you got to score it with a blade. And uh, so that's uh, what I'm going to do right now. And I'm going to score it kind of hard. Hopefully that's enough to uh, cut it uh, apart on its own. As soon as you're done scoring, uh, get the cap back on and uh, be very careful when you do. Um, never mind. So, um, but you should. So now that we scored it, um, they will peel. Otherwise, if you don't score them, then a bunch of uh, like the black will be on the red or else a bunch of the red will be on the black. You want to limit that as much as possible. So now I'm still uh, learning how to best work with uh, wire, but uh, we can strip it with this tool right there, really easy, right there. Now the strands, um, it's a good idea also to leave this on until right before you're gonna use it, then you can uh, twist it before you pop it up. I'm gonna pop it off just to show that the strands held together pretty good. That's because it's still rolled up, a uh, 100 foot roll right there. I probably got more than 90 feet left. Now, I also got uh, this tool from Klein, so I decided to buy a higher quality tool because uh, a lot of my tools were just uh, kind of the cheapest thing I got on Amazon that would probably uh, work well. But uh, yeah, I just squeezed it shut, stuck it in the uh, 12 gauge spot, and uh, it's not sliding as easy as it was uh, before, but I'm also probably removing more. But uh, that does a good job there as well. So now, when we uh, cut the other side here and uh, strip the insulation, we need to hold the strands in place. Right now the strands are being held uh, because it's kind of a long row. So um, this opens, we can insert the wire. I'll do that uh, a little bit later. Um, 12 gauge is the maximum wire for this connector. And this is 12 gauge wire, it just barely fits. Uh, I kind of gotta struggle a little bit even to get it in. So I got uh, this terminal block instead. Does the same thing as that one. Um, but uh, you screw it down and so I'm gonna add a ferrule to uh, one of the wires and uh, so this is 12 gauge so we use the uh, gray uh, ferrule although uh, 20 gauge is also gray right there but it's uh, pretty small you would probably realize that uh, 12 gauge will not fit in there uh, but it will fit in there so now we are gonna put connectors on uh, one side of the wire. This is still attached to the roll right there. So that's gonna help hold the uh, strands in place. I gotta set in the one that's open. And again, this is uh, 12 gauge wire and this connector maximum wire is 12 gauge. So it's a bit difficult to get in there, but now I got it uh, clamped down. I think that's a good connection. For this other side, we got the ferrule. Uh, this ferrule is for uh, 12 gauge according to the kit and the crimping tool came with the same uh, kit get the strands in there and it helps to uh, spin this uh, when you slide it on and um, You just push it till the insulation stops it and it comes with this uh, little ratcheting tool pretty simple just slide it on and uh, Now we got a ferrule on there tug on it. It should not come off so now that we have the two connectors on the uh, two different color wires to uh, help hold the strands in place, um, not so much when we are cutting it, probably they'll stick together uh, just fine, um, but we don't have much wire there. They should, uh, this one when I was filming, I should say earlier, did not hold the strands uh, terribly well. Um, wasn't a complete disaster. I'm gonna strip the full insulation uh, right there. And uh, let's take a look at the strands. So the strands actually uh, did uh, pretty good right there. Maybe because I twisted them more when I inserted them there. So I'm actually pretty happy with that one. And uh, this one here, um, again, pull it. And again, I usually leave this on until right before I'm going to attach it to something. Then I twist it to help uh, twist them a bit. Um, but yeah, this uh, also held it pretty good, held the strands in place. So now, these are both uh, terminal blocks, even though they look uh, quite a bit different. Uh, whatever wire you clamp down in there will make a direct connection to this wire, just like uh, whatever wire you uh, screw down into one of these other holes is a direct connection to this one. Um, I got four of these for $10, maybe it was 11, um, but uh, any case, um, so this is a 10 American wire gauge that fits in really easily. So that's the biggest wire I got, except for mine's uh, high voltage uh, solar 
And so the insulation is thicker than what uh, you got there. I didn't take that into account when I bought it. Um, that was a thing I learned in an earlier video. So this is a seven American wire gauge. It fits in there. And uh, so I believe that uh, would work. This has a maximum current, according to the seller, of uh, uh, 40 amps of uh, current. I wouldn't push that though. But in any case, yeah, it looks like uh, before and after you crimp them, um, they're about the same size.